Hello everyone, greetings from Minot, North Dakota. I'm standing here at my coin shop, Minot Coin and Bullion, and I'm gonna go and do a coin shop walk around to show you some new things we have in store. I'd intended to do a nice educational video highlighting some different things on my next video I put out, but because it's been so hectic in the shop, I haven't had the time. So in essence of saving time, I'm gonna do a shop walk around. These walk around videos require minimal editing on my part usually no editing quite frankly and uh, they're easy just to get up so i can get out content quickly i promise i'll be better next time but i hope you enjoy this walk around welcome back everybody we're going to highlight some new things that we got in our table of green bins this is the first thing you see when you walk into the coin shop here is this green or i'm sorry this black tablecloth table full of green bins this gets so much action, so much action. Oftentimes I'll come here at the end of the day and things are in the wrong bins and it gets to be quite a mess, but that's okay. That shows me that it's popular and people love to dig. I think that's part of human nature. And uh, people have found a lot of cool treasures inside these bins. One of them that a lot of people won't even think to look in is this uncirculated dollar bin, three bucks each. I also tossed in a bunch of proof presidential dollars this last week. Just kind of hanging out in here. If you're a collector of the Presidential Dollar Series, three bucks for a proof, that's a pretty good deal. My gold-plated coin bin is darn near empty. I actually have some uh, platinum-plated ones in there as well, but I sell those for 50 cents. I added a whole bunch of large tokens and medallions. A lot of North Dakota-themed ones. In fact, I'd say a high percentage, maybe more than half, are North Dakota themed. See, this shouldn't be in there. That should be over there. See what I mean? Things kind of get mixed up, but just some different unusual things. Here's a, a spoof or a reproduction of a $20 St. Gaudens that looks nothing like a real one, but it's a gold-plated copy of a coin that a lot of people maybe will never own. So two bucks, you can own a, a copy. I always add to this odds and ends bin too. This often gets to be the home of my wooden nickels. And we get a lot of wooden nickels. It seems like every collection has wooden nickels. So, and then just weird stuff, you know, these little uh, plastic Philadelphia mint pieces or Denver mint pieces that come in the older mint sets, oddball tokens, elongated pennies or cents, I should say. So put a lot of, put a lot of that stuff in there. I did add a bunch of certified modern coins into this bin and I didn't go through and price them. Before all these were individually priced, um, but I added like 15 or 20 and just didn't have time to price them, I just tossed them in. So I know there's some really good deals in here. Here's a Proof 69 Ultra Cameo, James Madison, Presidential Dollar Proof. Let's see what else we got. Got a Satin Finish. Territorial Quarter, Specimen 68, got a Proof 69 Deep Cameo Keelboat, Proof Nickel. So like I said, a lot, of, a lot of new stuff in here, a lot of presidential dollars, nickels, Proof Quarters, State Quarters. So a pretty good variety. There's a 79S Type 2, Proof 67 Kennedy Half in the old style PCGS holder. These sell for $8.33 each if you buy three. Otherwise, there's, they're 10 bucks a piece. My wheat scent bin, I'm surprised I have any in here, quite honestly. I have sold 5,000 wheat scents in the last week. Whenever I get some, they're gone. So once I unlock the door next, I'm sure one of the first few people that come in are gonna buy those. I got a regular that comes in almost daily and uh, picks up all that I have. I have a whole bunch of these type of things. This is a 1990 proof set. And it uh, talks about the first release of the Kennedy half dollar in 1964. And it includes a real authentic five cent U.S. postal stamp that has John F. Kennedy on it. But we have a whole bunch of these. Look at all these different years. We had all the years 
I believe at one point it was 1968 to 1992. Some have sold, but all these are just five bucks a piece. So if you're into proof sets or you're looking to fill gaps in your proof set collections, I have a bunch. We're always putting different deals inside the bargain bin. That's a $1 bin. Anything in there's a buck. This is a popular bin too, novelty currency, gold plated. We have, uh, you know, gold plated hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens, fives, twos, and ones. And we even have $1,000 Trump plated bills, but uh, those sell for three bucks each. They're very popular. We're always adding to our free bin. I always encourage people to take something free when they're here so they can pull something out of the free bin all the time. Buffalo nickels, wheat pennies, uh, uncirculated dimes, nickels, quarters end up in there. This side's pretty pitiful right now. Usually these are fairly full, but much like the wheat pennies, the Indian head cents have been flying out the door. We got one lowly wheat cent left, at, or I'm sorry, Indian head cent at the moment. Same with steel cents. Buffalo nickels, I literally had over a thousand a little over a week ago, they're all gone. I had over a thousand lib nickels, and these are the rejects that are left. They're, they're culls almost, and you know what? These should go in the free bin, because they are ugly. And same with this buffalo. So these are in the free bin now. Colorized $2 bills, popular item. Got a few left. I had, uh, I think, 50, down to probably 10 or 12. Uh, put a new bin out not too long ago, about 100-year-old plus foreign coins. A lot of these are Chinese. And then we have foreign coins priced as marked, and then just loose foreign coins uh, that you can buy by the handful. See what we got over here? We picked up a nice set of peace dollars. Now this is a year set. It's the 21 through 35. Pick that up in a collection. Picked up a whole bunch of GSA Morgan silver dollars. I believe I featured those earlier uh, in a video. And on this tray, we got quite a few Carson City Morgans that are raw that we had come in. 78, which is actually really nice. Our 1890 is really nice. The 91 doesn't look as nice. There's another 91 beside it. And we got a 92, a couple of them, varying degrees of wear, and an 1893. Of course, we always have a lot of certified Morgan and Peace dollars. Show you those there without getting too specific. Zoom back out here. We have currently over 100 proof silver eagles. All of the dates that we have except the 1986, 93, and 94 are 20% off. We usually retail these for 90 bucks. You can get any of them for $72. So that includes those both in capsules only and ones that come in the government boxes with papers. So I have sold quite a few of these in the shop, but we do have a lot still available. I bet you we still have 80 to 90. They're not all out right now. But if you love proof American Silver Eagles, they're cheap right now. We haven't added much to this case lately. We actually do still have one of these left. It's the $10 uh, grizzly bear, or I'm sorry, 10 ounce grizzly bear from Canada. We got those in a couple weeks ago, did a video, and I shipped some of those off to different parts of the country. Here's the silver bullion case. Haven't really added a whole lot of different things in here. Just kind of more of the same as we sell, we restock. We've sold a lot of Bach and bullion lately. We do have some fractional silver pieces in this box here, including half ounce bars, ounce and a quarter government issued coins, tenth ounce rounds. Uh, if you look in the upper right corner, there's a Morgan silver dollar replica that's 0.86 ounces. Kind of a goofy weight. Uh, you probably saw these on a previous video. We have these Valcambi combi bars, 100 grams for 150 bucks. Very popular. We sold probably about a quarter of what we had in inventory so far. Added a whole bunch of silver rounds to the silver round bin. We're, we got a pretty good variety in lately. And then we have a sovereign silver and impaired 
sovereign silver. Uh, one thing I haven't talked about in a while is premiums. Premiums on silver rounds are cheaper now than I've charged as far back as I can remember, quite honestly. Uh, right now, they're spot plus 250. That's cheap. And uh, I'll tell you, business really, really picked up in the shop on Thursday and Friday of this past week. And do you know why? Because silver price started to go up again. But we had those low premiums on silver rounds the whole week, and actually the previous week as well. So if you happen to catch my interview on Silver Seeker that dropped last Monday, we talked about that. We talked about premiums, what I was charging in the shop. And sure enough, low premiums and lowish spot price does not coexist for very long, and it didn't. Uh, by Thursday of that week, silver took a $2 jump. So had you bought earlier in the week last week, you could have saved like $2 per ounce, and that's huge. So I always encourage people to stock up on metals when premiums are low and when spot is low. But how do you know when spot is low? Well, you really don't, in, unless you're looking backwards, but in your own mind you should, well, I'm not saying you should, but you could have a price point, kind of a buying price plus premium where you're comfortable purchasing silver. And when it gets in that range, that's the time maybe you should buy. That's what I do. I did pull a few things out of the vault that I could feature here. This is a, a 100 ounce silver bar that I've never seen uh, until I purchased this across the counter. Actually, three, four weeks ago, it's just been kind of hanging out in the vault, uh, but I thought I'd pull it out and, and uh, showcase it. It's called the Pony Express 100 ounce silver bar. It's got cool imagery of a mail carrier carrying mail on a pony, hence the Pony Express. I still have a whole bunch of hand poured stuff from a large hand pour collection that I bought, oh boy, at least two months ago. Here's a black flag. It kind of looks like the flag for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, if you like that. There's a skull with a cowboy hat. This kind of looks like the Scottsdale Lion. Those first few I, I did are made by Merce Metals, M-U-R-S-E. It's a North Dakota made product. So this one as well, that's Merce Metals. Uh, the really ornate ones, I sold out of right away, so I can't really show you any of those. Oh, except I do have one here. Merce Metals produces these as well. So if you like those type of hand poured things, be sure to check out and look up Merce Metals, M-U-R-S-E. And we got some just kind of oddball, small, one ounce poured bars. Here's a hand poured five ounce with Tupac and Biggie on it. <laughs> I got a few of these. Those come with certificates of authenticity if, you're, if that's important to you. So yeah, just got a whole bunch of variety here. I thought I'd pull out because it doesn't uh, see the showcase very often. This one's stamped 2022. But really nice craftsmanship on these pieces. If you don't know what it takes to produce hand poured stuff, you'd probably be surprised because it's a lot of work. So I have a lot of respect for those who do this because I understand the process is truly an art form. But yeah, there's some cool pieces there. Um, didn't want to keep you guys too long. As I said, I wanted to just do a quick walkthrough to show you a few new things. Um, I do have a couple others I want to touch on quick before we end. And I think I've maybe featured these prior, uh, but we did get these all priced and put out. We came across a big collection of classic commemoratives. So we all have them, have them all in this bin right here. If there are certain ones you're looking for, feel free to drop a comment. And then we have modern commemoratives back there as well. Those would be from the 80s on forward. And we did get some new uh, paper money. Nothing real spectacular, but things we don't see very often like that top right corner, that $100 United States note with the red seal. Uh, national currency here. Chicago is one of the more common banks. And then we have another piece of national currency in the middle there. Bank of New York, one of the more commons, but got a really nice uh, star note, $2 red seal. A little bit lower serial number. And then we got some larger notes as well. I don't know how well you can see it, but we got a, a five and a 
a one back there, a couple other ones. So, but yeah, with that, I appreciate you all tuning in. Thanks for the support of the channel. Please, uh, if you could drop a comment and tell me what you wanna see next. I have a whole bunch of different educational videos planned in the pipeline and uh, just wanna know what you wanna see. I guess if I get enough people that wanna see a certain thing next, I'll plan on doing that one next, but education's very important to me. I'm always trying to help people learn new things about gold and silver and the coin collecting industry. I think it really helps the hobby. The more people know, the more better off we all are. But appreciate you all supporting the channel. Thanks so much. And I'll be signing off from Minecoin and Bullion. You all have a great day.